Aces. Oh, all in. Love Aces. Welcome back to the $33 12K tournament on America's Card Room. In this video, I'll be showing you every single hand that I was dealt at this final table with commentary. Hope you guys enjoy. Let me know in the comments if you would have played a hand differently. Include the timestamp. This Twitch replay has a lot of songs that I was playing that were copyrighted. Therefore, it mutes those portions of the video. I'm going to do my best to add in music from Gladiator and Braveheart and do a little commentary over it so you can get a feel for my thoughts in different spots. Six-handed with 23 blinds, King Jack off under the gun as a fold. I open shove king queen off here for 21 blinds because I don't want to get three bet by the button and I want to put max pressure on the blinds. Now we have a stronger hand with a bigger amount of blinds so we can just raise the value with these. Queen off here. Lost aces! Oh, all in! Love aces! Oh, baby. Alright, uh, got a feign some weakness in case rare chance he wants to come in with something like uh, tens maybe let's get a hold pocket aces love aces Whew. oh yeah oh that's just pretty so pretty drawn dead give me that player eliminated open up our game yeah, just a little bit it's nice of course 40 blinds is too much for me to rejam A tight fold with a6 suited because of the short stack. And we bust the short stack and we're now three-handed. Three-handed with ace queen on the button. We're all pretty close in chips. Obvious min raise. Flop comes queen jack jack with the backdoor clubs. Good flop for me to put in a value bet. Some worry about him having a jack. He check calls. The turn gives us the royal flush draw, but it does complete a lot of things that beat us. So we're gonna slow down and play some rivers. The river brings the straight, so we can now go for value. Hopefully get value from jack X or nine X. But he did check call with ace high. Stick with what's been working, and that is aggression. Stay aggressive. Top pair. Love top pair. I love draws. We're gonna give them a more jam. Bet that 120. Oh, 86? No. You're not getting thin value from your queen crab or your 10x, possibly your combo straight and flush draw. We're going to deny all your equity, possibly even get value from a worse queen. So we're going to go all in and win. Half a million chips. Here we go. Queen jack. Start to Arf. Thanks for the follow. We take it down. Big pot. Aces. Love aces. Mm. Great spot for a three bet. Yeah, just a casual three X. Let's get some action. Rip it in there, Georgie. Oh, come on. We gotta raise some buttons. Might be our first button raise. Bet. Uh, 
Oh, see what you do in this pre. Not gonna have too many flushes. Could have a worse eight, could have a bad queen. Could have a 10 9, jack 10, stuff like that. Let's play some rivers. Alright, good river. He should blow up all of his uh, straight draw combos. And possibly value bet his eights. 8,000, yeah. Has played, we got to put a call here. Hand is very under rev, and Queen's one of the best cards for our hand. Call. Jack 5, the Stone Cold Float. Uh, we're going to note that. We got the chip lead, that's good. Facing a small bet. Pretty clear cut option of calling, playing for future streaks. Good turn card. If he checks, we're going to bet. If he bets, we're going to call. He's going to continue with this line with all of his straight draws 8 9, 8 6. Uh, two pairs, just too strong to fold here. Even if he picked up a flush draw, he's going to continue. A lot more draws than actual pairs or trip combos. So for a brick river, that's a brick. Plan is to call river. We got two pair. Two pair is good. Uh, looks like he's given up. No reason to bet. We got nice showdown value. Yep, he turned the draw, continued to barrel, and gave up. Nice. Uh, we three x last time, blind versus blind. We're gonna do the same. Keep it consistent. Raising suited connectors. And we like that flop. He may try to rep reduce and uh, check raise to flop us off. Can't be scared of that. Ace Jack, a real premium in this spot. Uh, could go with a three bet or a jam. Jam is. A little big, uh, 40 blinds, a little bit too much. It's nice that we're chip leader, so I think I'm just gonna go with the three bet and call the shove if he wants to go that route. All right, we're running good. That's a great plot. Size down to just over uh, 145. Be this their whole range and take it down. Momentum jump. Best hand to do it with. Uh, yep, yeah, it's a good hand, forcing them to play for their stacks if they want to, but they don't really want to do that when they both have the same stack. Unless they pick up a monster. Not a tough decision. Good time to King Kong. We have a lot of fives. Well, not a lot of fives, but it's played. I think we're just going to try to get the show down. What a great intro. Could pick off some bluffs once in a while. He will value that ace high. Okay, checks back ace high. That's good to know. Three X. All right, this uh, flop favors our range a lot. We can have all the ace king, queen, the high cards. So we're gonna have to bet very large here. Straight hundred k. We want to fold now. Been raising the ace on the button, we get action. King 7 4, two club flop. We don't have a club, we're gonna check back. Hope to get the showdown cheaply when the deuce of clubs turns. Doesn't make much sense for us to bet, even though we pick up a draw. We can't really rep a flush after checking the flop. But when the ace comes on the river, it's a clear cut value bet, but he folds. Facing a limp from the small blind, we have the chip lead and ace 10 off, so we're gonna raise for value 3x. He puts in the call, flop comes queen high with a flush draw. We don't have any of that, so we're going to check back, try to get the cheap showdown. But we do improve on the turn. We hit our ace, he checks to us, time to go for value. But he's not having it, and we take it down. I will remain aggressive, three-handed with the chip lead, putting in a lot of raises to jeopardize their whole chip stack with any given hand. 
Easy open with queen 10 on the button, but we just can't call a 22 blind reshove from the small blind. After defending king deuce in the big blind, it's time to test out how my opponents are gonna play this situation. So I lead out to see how they'll react. He's not having any of it and he just shoves all in. Not sure what he has here, but we definitely can't call. No respect. Standard 3x open from the small blind with ace three against his 30 blind stack size. He defends, the flop is great for us, so we're gonna down bet. He's gonna have a lot of unsuited broadways and stuff that completely misses. So we wanna induce and get value. Standard open with ace eight on the button, but we cannot call this rejam of 27 blinds from the small blind. With king 10 and the chip lead in the small blind, it's an easy jam versus a 15 blind stack in the big. He calls with worse and we hold and we're now heads up. Eight high is a very good hand to stab on this very dry flop for a small sizing. If he calls, we can continue with anything that gives us a straight draw or a pair. The King Jack 10 flop shouldn't hit his limping range very hard. We might be able to take it with a bet on the flop. And we have the backdoor diamonds. We do turn a pair and we still have the straight draw, but we brick on the river. Not many hands that are worse than ours that could continue. So sometimes you just gotta check fold. Men raise King nine off on the button. He calls, flop comes King high through to a flush. We wanna now bet for value, so we bet two blinds and he folds. After he checks the flop, our 10 here is gonna be good the majority of the time. The turn makes the board a lot more wet, so let's bet for value. I like open jamming ace rag for just over 20 blinds in these heads up scenarios, as opposed to limping or raise folding. I mix it up and limp 10-8 off against his effective 20 plus big blind stack to see how he'll react. It might be more profitable to limp and stab than raise and fold to a shove. Against a one-fourth pot bet, I think it's profitable to check raise 3x and represent a king or a five. If called, we can continue on anything that gives us a straight draw. If you have a skill edge in a heads-up battle, you often want to play more of a small ball approach, so you grind your opponent down and not take big risks. Play more hands, play smaller pots, and your edge will be realized easier. When we turn top pair, it's an easy value bet of half pot. He puts in the call, the river does bring the flush and the over card. He checks to us, but I think we can still go for value. I guess we're gonna think he's gonna lead the flush with some frequency and we get value. When your head's up facing a 14 blind open jam for the tournament win, you have queen jack. Sometimes you gotta put in the call and hold. We take it down. All the money, $2,609.